the wire that we're running across the ceiling, I cut a V groove. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. I cut a V groove all the way across, put the wire there, and then we just put some tape over it to hold it in place. That way, the wire, we're going to put paneling up here, and that way the wire's in between the paneling and the foam and not just the roof and getting hot. And uh, yeah, it's protected. So, anyway. See what it looks like from the inside. What we did, if you can see, is we put wood right behind where the screws are coming through the outside, so at least it has something to grip other than metal. And I put there's metal in the bottom. I mean, wood at the bottom and wood at the top. Somebody's watching me. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Alright, you guys probably know about this. But you've got the uh, 15 amp duplex here. And there's a little bar inside this thing that actually connects both circuits up. You know, factory this and this is the same. And you can disconnect them so that they, uh, so that you can have like a switched lamp or something like that. In this case, we're going to back feed two 15 amp circuits. So I'm going to disconnect that in its 15 amp radio device. There's the little bar right there. And now that you disconnected it, you've got 15 amp two 15 amp inputs, just like that. Okay, so what, what we're doing here is we took a regular outlet, cut the little bars out that separate the top and the bottom so they can be independent circuits. And he's going to have two incoming circuits. He'll wire the the black and the white, of course, to the top circuit, uh, the black and white for circuit number two to the bottom, and that way he has two individual 15 amp inputs. Of course, we'll make suicide cords, and everybody hates those, but hey, whatever. As long as you plug the trailer in first, you're fine. And that way, uh, we'll run that from the one outlet to the breaker box that we have, and, uh, and yeah, there'll be our two inputs on one little jack. Stay tuned and watch. I don't want to penetrate the middle. I got to work out with silicone around it. I did mine, silicone. It's the best way to do it. Okay guys, so I'm not going to full detail about him hooking this up. Um, you can see on some of my previous videos, the 6x10 in, in, um, trailer conversion where I hooked up my breaker boxes basically just like this one and, and so forth and so on. So we're just hitting the highlights here on this video so you're not watching the same things over and over. Okay, well, electrical's done. Outlet. Outlet. He's going to have an air conditioner and fridge up here. Outlet. Outlet. Outlet up top for God knows what lights, probably. Breaker. Yeah. I think he's going to put a little power strip right here and put a little thing for cell phone charging and then run a little light over here 
or something. But anyway, that's it so far. Um, stay tuned.